guys, it's Patrick here at PCTV, and you'll never guess where I am today. I'm in downtown Laverne with my boy Trevor here at the uh, Laverne Car Show. It's the holiday uh, edition, and we're going to go ahead and walk the show here. We've got a lot of great stuff here. Amazing car show today, so uh, let's just get right on it and start out with this beautiful four-door. It's a 1939 Plymouth Road King Deluxe. Headlights. I just love these headlights on these Plymouths. Just is so cool. I think I saw this car here last time it was here. Beautiful, beautiful car. We're fighting the sunlight a little bit here today, so we'll see how we do. Look at the burl wood, interior work. Everything's just absolutely gorgeous inside here. Looking across over here, look at the 68 Camaro across the way over here. Just amazing. We got a Model T rolling in. Don't know where he's going to go. by Camber Speed. We were just at Garden Grove last night. It was Camber Speed shop last night. This 68 is gorgeous. It's had a transplant done to it. Loose wheels. The paint is just exceptional on it. Really, really gorgeous. Here's his build board. There you go. All right, let's roll on down check a look at this Roadrunner. I thought that was that RT, Challenger RT that was here last at Garden Grove last night. Man, this thing's exceptional. The wheels. It's a shot style wheel, but I don't know who makes the wheel, but it's something else. Look at the way he's done his cold air induction. He's done it the right way. He's got everything boxed. And I think we saw this car, Robert and I saw this car um, just a week or two ago. Actually, I think we saw this car in um, Temecula two weeks ago. Again, just a Mondo car. Look at this interior. Super gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. What do you think of this one, Trevor? You like it? <laughs> nice? Not a bad car, huh? And of course, quintessential Roadrunner. When we were in Boy Scouts, we were part of the Roadrunner Patrol, and that was actually our patch. And the BS Boy Scouts made us take that patch off of our uniforms and put the standard Roadrunner patch on. Uh, looks like we got a 67 Goat over here. Looking like a 71 or 72 step size C10. Hey! And uh, we got all kinds of people walking by. Got a beautiful, uh, is that 3600? Interesting. <laughs> nice little bucket right here. I can't believe I said that that deuce was a, was a tea bucket. That was too funny. All right, let's take a look over here at this. Uh, oh, this is 66. Beautiful 66 go here. 389.4. Wow. Gorgeous car. The beginning of the Coke bottle shape that Pontiac really, really owned when they went to the newer version of Le Mans. Look at the dash, look at this. And this is a true hot rod. It's pushing pedals, pulling gears with a purse T-handle shifter in it, wood dash. I remember this car because my dad had this car when I was a kid. He had the 64 actually. And here's a 71 Steppy, just like I said. We're building one of these right now. It should be coming out of, uh, should be coming out of the shop pretty quick. Hopefully you get to see my truck, me and Robert's truck. Look at this, man. Interesting how he set up the shifter in the center console. I like what he did here. Very, very comfortable driver. Yeah, got all those darn Optimus in there. Yeah, let's see what he's got here. Submission engines. Don't know these guys. Uh, nice setup. Fuel pressure regulator. He's got AFR heads on the thing. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Really, really nice. Um, he's doing a hydro boost on his brakes. Overall, just a really, really clean painted bumper. Like the grill treatment. U.S. wheels. There you go, Robert. There's a set of wheels for you. Woo! Like those U.S. mags. Mirrors are what I want. Get a look over here. Again, just super, super clean, super cool. Oh man, this is beautiful. Okay, so we got a '69 Chevelle right here. Really, really clean car. Nice stance. Running. Old school BFGs, radial TAs, correct. He's got the T-handle shifter in it. He's got his gauge package, minus one. He's got his 69 there, that's always good. Running a champion, champion radiator. Great folks over there. He's got a 496 in this. And look at this motor setup. MSD, he's got all this fuel control. I think he might be running injection here, like a Phytech or something. This has got injection written all over it. 
$4.96. Wow. What do you think, Trevor? Nice, huh? Beautiful Chevelle. And this is just some of the quality that we're seeing here today. Right next to it now, we've got, looks like to be a duster or a dart. Submission. That's awesome. Look at the setup here, man. This is crazy. Yeah, it's a duster. Oh, yeah, it's even got the duster plate on it. Very, very sweet. Be cool radiator set up on it. MSD, JL6 AL2. He's got Will Woods set up on it. It's like I said, it's a true 71. You know me and my 71s. He's got his GoPro set up on here. See the setup. Very, very cool. You like it, Trevor? Yeah. All right. Another beautiful V28 right here. I've seen him around. Thank you, sir. All right, take care. Have a good day. You too. This is a 69. Keep your fingers clear. He's running the 302 package on this one, which is real standard on Camaro since what they mostly came with. Oh, and it's a shift car. Nice little sh or shift ball. So let's say pushing pedals and pulling gears, as Dan would say. A lot of stuff here today, huh, Trevor? We got lots to look at. Look at this uh, swinger over here, and it looks like he's got a 383 in it. He's running poverty caps. He's got a great look going here, stanced out, really, really nice, absolutely gorgeous. Another nice, uh, looks like a Hemi setup in here. Wilson Manifold, so that must be his injection setup. Submission Engines, so these are the guys that are actually they're here in Rancho Cucamonga, and they're building these motors, actually doing these, so yeah, really beautiful setup here. And again, uh, Dodge Dark Swinger. Don't see swingers like this very often. Mostly grandmas to prove these. Yeah, this ain't a grandma car. Look, the, look at the treatment inside here, what he's done. With the red and everything, just top, top notch. Good stuff. All right, let's swing over here and we'll look at a 69 426 Hemi Roadrunner. It just gets better and better every time you turn around. As you always know, please, but don't look, but don't touch. And then it's a four speed car again. It's a Roadrunner, 69, Hemi. This is the Coyote Duster. It's a J code, air grabber. Beautiful, beautiful car here. And it's for sale. If you want a 69 Roadrunner, this is the one to own right here with the air grabber hood. And then right next to this now we have a Fairlane, I believe, or it could be a Galaxy. Probably a Galaxy, Traeger SS's. Looking like he's running a 351. Nice car, original bumper, original chrome. This is here at the Laverne Holiday Show. Again, super, super clean. Get a look around the back here. It is a Fairlane. I'm guessing it's like a 65 fairly. I could be wrong. I know this is a 65 uh, Falcon Sprint right next to it, though. This is one of my all-time favorite Fords right here. Love this car. Always have. I don't know if this is a Sprint or... Yep, it's a Sprint. Oh, it's a Futura. So... Yeah, it's a Futura. A look in here, super super clean. Doing like drag light wheels on there, dual intake uh, air cleaner, pulling this cool air through the, through the uh, grill here. Small block, let's see what he's got in here. 347, very very nice. All right, we got a nice original Bronco right next to it, probably like a 72, maybe, not sure. All original 302 car. It's got the Mickey Thompson uh, drilled wheels. God, Mickey Thompson, man, there was somebody. There, there was a personality there. He was something else. It's a '71, and this to me is the this is the ultimate Bronco. If you ever to own one, this is the only one to own. Just this body style, the unibody. And we get a look over here at the uh, beautiful car that belongs to Richard and his wife. It's a 61 convertible, it just came off the power tour. We got all kinds of folks here today. Tons and tons of folks walking through. But yeah, let's take a look at Richard's uh, 61 convertible here. 
LS3 out of a Camaro. We just had a nice little conversation about the car. They just drove this thing all the way out to uh, Illinois, and uh, they might have trailered it. I think they took it out there and trailered it. But they drive this car, and they drive it in the rain. They drive it all over the place. Right next to it, we've got a beautiful, beautiful Nova here, 327 car. Which is one of my favorite engines of all time. Dressed beautifully. Blue Point Heads. Don't know these ones. But as far as 67s go, this one's just ultra, ultra clean. Very nice car. That looks to be the owner right there. They're all very, very sweet. It's a nice piece. Nice piece. Okay, moving on. Oh, looks like Richard took off. All right, let's keep walking. Oh, I got to check out this K5 over here. I'm just going side to side today, guys, all over the place. Oh, we got a pooch. Got the Mustang. Told you I'd be back, but now I'm shooting. <laughs> and I'm getting your beautiful car. This car is amazing. Just top quality. Really, really, really special car. Gorgeous car. I was gonna give your husband a hard time, but he disappeared. <laughs> well, I'll find him. All right, car looks great, you guys. Love it. This is a 60, uh, I believe it's 60. He get the devil and here he is. 60? Yep, yep, should be a 60. Nice. Or 61, I'm sorry, 61. Hey, there he is. Told you I'd be back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Love your car, Richard. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Got a beautiful 61 here, love it. Awesome, take care. All right, let's go look at this uh, studio right here. Is this a Lark? Is it a, or is this a gold? Look at this duty. But they're all safe. I don't know if it's a lark. It might be a lark. Look at the turn on this dash. Wow, and it's even personalized. Victor and Cruz. For your donated presents. And this is a hawk. It's a golden hawk. Oh my god, it is a golden hawk. I was not going to say it was, but my gosh, it's a golden hawk. This is a super rare car. These were built custom for each one of the owners. That's why the nameplate's on it. Look at the louver work on the hood here. I don't know if that's factory or not, but it's just bitching. And it's got this uh, Keepsakes 289 in here. A lot going in uh, on underneath the hood. This is real busy under this engine compartment. Huge power steering pump. And uh, I'm not sure what this is for the brakes or what, but it's pretty crazy under the hood here. So this is a Golden Hawk, and this is a really, really unusual and special car. So we're spending, gonna spend a little time inside here, get a look inside. Again, look at the machine turn dash. Looks like it's been upgraded on gauges. I could be wrong though. But again, absolutely beautiful, wow. Okay, let's keep moving. Keep moving, moving, moving. All right, here's a 65 goat. What's nice about the show is that it's not super crowded and there's just a lot of really, really high quality cars here today. And so you've got a, just a, a great showing. He's got his own card made. Probably got those from Tony. Take a look inside here. He's got high backs. He's got modern seats. He's got shoulder belts. It's an automatic car. So it may be good to rise. American Racing Wheels. Just your typical 65 goat. Speaking about another 65, now here's a Sprint. This is what I was looking for, a Falcon Sprint. Yellow's not me, but I sure like a, I sure like a good 65 Falcon Sprint, that's for sure. And this one's a real pretty one. Um, yeah, nicely done. The sun is super bright out here today. Now we're gonna have to take a look over here at this Mustang. But first of all, yeah, let's get some more shots of this Sprint here. All right, let's swing over and get a look at this gorgeous. There's our uh, first responders here, high patrol. We've got a 66 GTO right here that is off the hook. But this is where I'm heading to right now. We got to look at this Mustang. This is something else right here. Coyote motor, running beautiful wheels. Absolutely gorgeous car. Of course, my year. This is my year for Mustangs, 1967 is all about what I'm about. 
for a Mustang, and this is the car, if I was to ever own, this would be it right here. Love this car, absolutely gorgeous. The lines on a Fastback 67 to me are the most beautiful of all of the Mustangs ever made. And as you can see, this thing just really, really stands out. So we gotta get one more look at that Coyote motor. Oh, check out the stance, killer stance. And let's get another look at that Coyote motor before we keep walking here, because this thing is off the hook. Look under the hood here, you guys. You know what? I think Carroll Shelby would have been all over this. Robert and I had a conversation about this the other day, and we think Carroll Shelby would have been just 100% behind it. So anyway, back to the 66 GOAT. We just glanced at that for a second, but I definitely wanted to spend some time with that 67 Mustang. Let's get a look inside the GOAT here. Love all the surfboard treatment. That's really cool. Cal rods, nice red. It's been around. It's, you know, it's got its, it's got its, uh, it's got its patina, it's got its scratches and everything, but it's definitely a driver, and it's really beautiful. Again, just more of what you get to see here at uh, Laverne. We have Santa Claus here today. Look at that, Trevor Santa Claus. There you go. Say hi. <laughs> Santa Claus. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Okay, so more of what to see here. And if you want to see yourself, a, this is Wayne and Kathy's 41 Willys. And look what is stuffed underneath the hood here. Good, good golly. All I got to say, right, Trevor? This one's been around too. It gets driven. And it is just an amazing car. Get a look inside here. See what they've done in here. And it's just really, really exceptional. Exceptional car. Sorry, bud, right behind you here. Gonna back up. And yeah, this thing is uh, really, really amazing. So let's take a look over here. This is a uh, emulation of some sort. I'm not sure what it's built from. That's freaking steel. Oh, it is? It's all steel. Interesting. Right, right, right. Well, what is this? This is 31 Ford. Nice wheels. So, yeah, this thing is custom to get. Yeah. Wow, look at all this work. I, 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 I sent a picture to my wife. I, want, I wanted her to buy it. I'll buy it for her to drive this year. I just bought her a new BMW. I like your original oh, sophomore, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I Interesting. Interesting. Huh? Huh. Now I don't know what he wants for this. The same guy owns it. Interesting emulation. Really? He got him on the side. All right, so let's keep walking, Trevor. Let's go look at this Brookwood wagon over here. This thing's out of control. As far as Brookwoods go, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Look at the motor on this thing, dude. Oh, look at this. He's even got Brookwood on his valve covers. He went all out. Top notch. The wagons are the toughest, too, because of all the parts and everything that are involved. This is a two-door Brookwood, which makes it even as sick as they come. This is unobtainium right here, you guys. And again, my wife, my buddy Wayne had a two two door Brookwood, and you got your Parkwoods, you got your Brookwoods, and I'm all about the Brookwoods. Look at the pull through on this interior. Really sick. Oh my God, this thing is beautiful. Perfection. Let's see if we can get some undercarriage look here. Can't see what's going on in the air. All I can see is me. <laughs> I can see his roll pan though. Oh, his undercarriage is amazing. And this is a '59. And again, just top of the line. He's been in the good guy shows a bunch. He's won awards. All of his switches. Look at his gauge work. He's a good guy's top 10. He's won several times at good guys. So that tells you something about it right there. Again, just another exceptional piece here at Laverne. So look across the street here. We're going to get in our last little bit of walking before we take off. The level of cars here today. Here's another 61 convertible Impala. Again, just off the hook. Oh, I know this guy. Love this car, man. This is yours? Yes. This the is both of them, the wagon and the Impala, both. Oh, Does really? I want to see Jackson. You want to see Jackson both, again? These are yes. both your cars. Yes. Dude, I am completely blown away by your Brookwood. Oh, There's not you. often you see a two door Brookwood. Not too many of them. Not no, too many. No, yeah, my for Wayne's. Brookwood. Yeah, it's a real Brookwood, too, huh? It is. It is. Wow. Uh, I actually bought it with Motor Swap Meeting in 2010. It was relatively stock, but I knew one day we'd do a full custom build on it, and uh, 
A lot of unique things from the slanted B pills, pillars uh, to the one-off frame. The floors are all channeled four inches. We have shaved the rear tailgate, got rid of the hinges. We've shaved the bumpers, we've wrenched them in. The front balances have been completely um, stretched and filled. Uh, one-off A-arms, floating rear uh, IRS, rear suspension. You've got to be kidding me. Yes. Yeah, you know, you, 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 the subtleties are there, but you have to take those double takes. Like you the B-pillars, yes. I double took on the, I'm like, uh -huh. Did you notice the two-tone paint job? Yes. 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 Not too many people noticed that. I noticed the two-tone right off, and that's as soon as I saw the break in the paint and saw it was a two-door. That's when I went. Durr! What was your I'm favorite done. car? <laughs> what was your favorite car? Do you like all the cars, or do you like Jackson better? He likes you Jackson. Can pet Jackson again. Yes. Careful, careful, Just careful. Slow, soft, slow, be soft. soft. There you go. Is that cool? Say hi, Jackson. That's Jackson. You were holding him earlier. You remember? Yeah. See, Jackson's wanting to go back to you. You want to hold him? You want to hold your him? arm again. I'm going to help you out, okay? Okay. There you go. Good boy, Jackson. There Say you go, Say hi to Jackson. you. Say hi, Jackson. Hi. There hi. you go. Good job. That's so cool. And I'm trying to remember your name again. That's Trevor. Trevor. And what was your name? I'm Joe. I'm Patrick. Yes. Joe. Hey, nice Patrick. to meet you. Hey, Patrick. Nice to meet you. With PCTV. But check out Smile for the Birdie. Smile for yeah, the birdie. You can Google okay. us and check us out and see everything that we do, huh? And then the Instagram page for the um, for the cars is uh, 59 Brookwood Wagon on Instagram. Okay, good so, to know. Yes. Thanks, Look man. What I found? Me, Hello. baby. What's up, Ibo? Handsomest man in my own bedroom. That's right. Don't forget, Paparazzi Plaza. <laughs> Paparazzi Plaza. On YouTube. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. Doggies and high rides. Doggies and high rides, dude. I can't believe these are both his cars. This I is know. unbelievable. And he does the whole rescue thing with the same year I was born, '61. I was born in '60. Yep. And I tell you what, these are both SSs. When you're older, you're... Oh, there you go. This '59 is incredible, and the amount yeah. of work that he's I'll put into it. Same, same as the years, me. And oh me yeah. But I tell you what. Number oh, there, there we, we go. go. He'll go right there. How's that? Oh, looks like he's driving almost. What's his name? Jackson. Jackson. And he is our Hyacinth Macaw from uh, Brazil. Hyacinth? Hyacinth. Hi, Jackson. Jackson. Uh, he's cool. He's very, very sociable if you want to very, pick very him up. Very, very sociable. All right. Let's keep shoulders. walking. Yes. Here's the 6.4 that was at uh, Temecula the other day. I've seen this one in a few places lately. I've been getting around. It's a 63, I'm sorry. I called it out as a 64. It's actually a 63. Look at the interior here. Look at the, uh, the metallic on the roof. Paint is perfection. Really, really cool stuff here. And Jack is just really tripping on him, man. This guy's great. And we got Imbo staying big. Oh, I got Imbo with his buddy here. Hey, Emil and your buddy. Emil and Jackson. I got a bird. I got a bird. That's awesome. All right, let's keep going. We got all kinds of great stuff here. What a fun day. Is that a McLaren? I'm not used to the moderns being here. Yep, it's a McLaren. It's S20S. That's yeah, a million dollar car. Okay. Yeah, you don't see a whole lot of moderns out here, but it's nice to see this. It's a beautiful car. I sat in one of these when Mike Brewer had it down in Newport. And then, uh, Mustang. All right, nice Chevelle up here. It's got the blue plates on it. Coming up on this one, looking like a 66. Yeah, it's a 66. A lot of flame work under here. Look at the interior on this one. Super clean, original looking. Yeah, he's, got, he's pulled the flames all the way through. It's an automatic car. Uh, really beautiful blue. Something I'm considering for my 71 short bed C10 is a blue in this area. I do like a good blue. All right, let's keep going, bud. Trevor, you are hanging great. You're doing such a good job. Beautiful 65 C10 here, shorty. Looks like he's running like a 14.0, yeah, 14.05 uh, Edelbrock, duh. Those are based on Carter carburetors, Carter AFBs, and I believe they bought it and then made those in the other rock Carter carburetors that we use today. Uh, really clean inside, beautiful machine turn work on the dash, uh, wood bed, super, super clean. And the thing of it all, it's a short bed. He's got a gas door back here, so that means he eliminated his uh, behind the seat 
gas tank and he's probably injected and I love the fact that he did the gas door. Let me see how he routed over here. Look at this guys. It's all inside. There's nothing. You can't even tell. This is done pro. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Yeah, look inside here. This is done pro. You can't even tell there's a gas fill in here. So really, really beautiful, beautiful truck overall. Of course, he's got a great roll pan in it. Get a look at this truck, man. All right, let's head back over this way. 65 Chevelle over here. And and Mark even said, black. Black, 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 black on black. And look at that jewelry box. That thing looks like it looks like a diamond sitting in there. That is gorgeous. Red interior. This is an honest, beautiful car right here. I love the double wrap on the on the wheel. It's almost a maroon on the dash and a red on the seats. It's a little different. So, and we look down the street here. And let's see. Take a look over here. What do we have here? This is a. It's like a roadster. The Italian Stallion. It's a 38 Ford pickup cab, 36 Chevy humpback rear section, 82. Suzuki sidekick differential. Okay, this thing's been, it's got a flathead in it. Um, yeah, I would almost qualify this as a rat rod. But it's not. Oh, look what he did here, you guys. This is a very sick individual. Look at that. He just took the bed and he just took the hump back off the, was it 39 I thought I, th I said? Look at the Kelsey Hayes wheels on this. This is really super, super cool. Good look at the interior in here. You know what? There's room to see, to sit. It looks like it might be a comfortable driver. Air conditioning, air ride. Might be a little choppy on the hop. Actually, I don't see an air ride in the front. You might have it in the back here. But yeah, this is a basically started out life as a 38 Ford pickup with a back half of a 38 Chevy humpback on it. All right, so let's take a look down the street here. We're gonna start probably finishing up because we could spend all day doing this. Um, and uh, you know, there's a lot to see here. Look at the 64 Galaxy, gorgeous car. Got a transplant in here, 32 valve. It's looking like a Coyote motor to me. Beautiful Galaxy. Get a look over at this uh, Nova here. This is a beautiful 67 here. Let's see, this sprocket came out of an engine three looking like this. This is what a new timing sprocket should look like. This is what it looks like the old one. All the plastic was in the oil pan. That's awesome. 510,000 miles on this car. This car has seen a lot of history. Been up and down the road a whole bunch. Look at the wear on the pedals. You can tell right away the pedals got natural wear on them. I don't know how, time, how many times they've been recovered, but there you go. All right, then we got all kinds of vendors over here too. Car, cool car pins. I don't hear Larry, the sign guy. He's usually here. Ooh, nice fairway. Really nice fairway. 57. Look at this. 4.6 for the Whipple Charger. This probably came out of a newer uh, Mustang, a Shelby. Beautiful lines on it. Again, beautiful machine turn on the dash. And it is a pedal car. It's a true, uh, true hot rod. I like the louver work on the fans too, that's interesting. And he's got a good pull through, so he's really pulling a lot of good air, keeping this thing super cool. Another swinger. I, I used to buy these things for like 200 bucks and sell them to surfers all day long. And they never had V8s in them though, they always had the slant sixes. And you know, you can never kill a slant six. So, right next to it here, we've got a uh, it looks like a is it a Nash? I think it's a Nash, a Nash Lafayette. Very cool. Um, yeah, 36 Nash, four door, more in the interior. All kinds of great stuff going on here. Look at this thing. All kinds of room. It's got double high backs. It's got a nice big hump back on it. Lots of room in the trunk. Fit all your junk. Trevor liked the bird, I think, the best. Right next to it, we got a five window. It's fully chopped. Really nice work on this one. Look at the chop on this, guys. Beautiful roof line. 
I'm a little polarized on some of these chops, but especially on a long roof like this, but God, it looks good. I like his gauges. Really exceptional hair. And this is a 34. It's got the Greyhound on the front. But he's really done some nice stuff. Wheels are a little dated. He's got the weld wheels. Uh, drag lights? I always forget. It's been a while. Ooh, I like his lock setup. And I know this is probably factory, but look at the detail here with the suicide doors. Just a really, really nice car. I'm going to swing right over here, and we see ourselves a 39 Ford Tudor. And it's got nice flame work done on it. Overall, just another beautiful car. And we just keep going and going and going. 3100 GMC, looking like an Oldsmobile Skylark down there. Oh, we got a cool Woody Wagon. We gotta go look at the Woody Wagon. Got a rubber butt vet. Oh, this is Starfire. Oldsmobile Starfire. This is from Clem Motors out of Iowa. This is a pretty rare car right here. You don't see these every day. Get a look at it. Yep, and there's the famous Starfire little logo. Look at the look at the clock on this thing, man. I love where the odometer is. This is great. And again, great dash, everything really cool on this thing. So yeah, on we go. On we go, on we go, on we go. Oh, they got the portable chargers and hand warmers. Okay, here's this really nice 3100 GMC here. Let's see running. Chevrolet power. Could be a, it could be a Chevy. I always get confused. That's a 57 Chevy. What confuses me is the grill. Because I think the GMC grill was real similar in the earlier years. I could be wrong. Now, here's a Nomad 56. It's called Pretty Woman. This is a showstopper right here. They are not messing around. Look at this. Interior. Exceptional. Using standard lap belts on it. Run an AC underneath. Side it down the sides. Look at the paint, man. All the door lines. Everything's just spot on. Of course, being a 56 and it's a Bel Air, you know, I just have a soft spot for Bel Airs and for 56s. Again, really nice car here. And we got a three window right next to it. A 34. Like I say, I was trying not to shoot license plates out of consideration for the owners. Um, nice interior, modern, tilt wheel, air conditioning, super comfortable seats in it, beautiful dash, no high backs, which is okay by me. So he's got a pretty standard small walk in here. Nothing to write home to Santa Claus about, but you know, still very, very cool. Traditional flame job, which you see less and less of these days. You don't see all the flame jobs like you used to see. So, what do you think of the flames there, Trevor? Not bad? Not bad. Are you getting hungry? Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, here's this beautiful Pontiac, and this is like in a like in a 150 trim, I think. It's not like a Star Chief. I'm not sure about this car. I don't know him real well. Um, it's a Chieftain. Okay, it's not the Star, it's a Chieftain. So I think it's like the 150 version of the Pontiac, but these are just so special. It's so cool. It's got a 400 in it. Look at a center console. Really beautiful. Detail here is just absolutely sweet on this. Let's get a look at the tail end because I love the I love the tail of these. They're just so different than the Chevys of the same years. And I like the fact that he went with the uh, theme on his pinstriping. He went with kind of a Native American theme. All right, next to it we've got a really beautiful convertible here, looking like a '54. Lake pipes on it. Oh, he's got a full custom Lacara steering wheel. It's a Ford convertible. Automatic. Ooh, nice louver work. It's looking like a, a shoebox? I don't know. Let's see. Got you know what, Trevor? I'm not 100 percent sure what I'm looking at here. What are we looking at here? Oh, it is a Sunliner. It's a 54 Sunliner. Okay. Alright, so we we'll take a look at this FE over here. Take a look down the line, guys, and that is the end of the show down there. Well, again, a lot more beautiful cars to look at, but we only have so much time in the day. Got to look at this SS, uh, second uh, gen. Beautiful here. I think it's like a, maybe a 72, 73, dual carb setup on it. Really, really nice. And uh, 
What year is it? Oh, it's a 70. Huh. He's asking 39 for it. If you're interested in buying it, there's the phone number and there's the price. But yeah, the second gens have really come up in money. They're much bigger money cars than they were even five years ago. All right, so that's it. We're going to walk down the vendor row here, look at some of the newer Mustangs. A lot of the moderns are coming in more and more these days. And this is the show, man. So now we've kind of worked our way over to the other side of the show here. Here's a cool F100, baby blue, real sweet. 56, it looks like. Running pretty stock with the Ford Automatic in it. So that was a big deal back then to have the automatic transmission with these trucks. That was unusual. Look at this panel here, though. Budweiser Express. This one's been around. I've seen it around for a lot of, a lot of years. Very, very clean, very, very nice. There's his interior. Again, yeah, he's, uh, this has been built for, for quite a while. And uh, still looks good. Still looks good. I love his bottle cap air cleaner and his bottle opener under the hood. I mean, he's got the full theme going here. We're talking Budweiser. All right, so here's this SS 383 Chevelle right here with the weld wheels. I don't know what style wheels these are. I, I don't know what these are. I know they're weld and they're genuine and it's beautiful. It's got a 383 in it. And we just keep on walking down. Look at this Ford Deluxe 40 convertible. Right next to it, we got a full custom. I believe these cars are for sale. These are for assignment cars. Got a nice little three window coupe, just as clean as can be. Man, you can definitely eat lunch off this one and dinner. And never call it late for dinner either. And you know what they say more Fords are on the road today because of Chevy Power. And this one's powered by a Chevy Small Block. And it is a uh, 32, which is the one. And here's this beautiful, beautiful little cabriolet here. I tried to get some shots of it earlier, but it was just completely just crowded with people around it. This thing's on the ground, man. This thing lays front, it all lays frame. It's got his exhaust routed out through his rear fender. Um, a lot of coolness. Super hot rod here. I mean, a mega, mega hot rod. Like the lights, the compound lights are very cool. Overall, just a really nice look. Here's another uh, five window. It's a 37. A lot of work's been done to it too. It's been Frenched in, just a ton of work. And it's for sale as well. So let's walk over here one more time. We got a look at Wayne and Kathy's. Willie's with the big monster motor in it. Johnny Martinez looks like he's taken off. Oh, there we go. So this is uh, Black Cherry. It used to be known as Wicked Suede. And this is uh, Johnny Martinez's truck, and it's here today. Along with Johnny Martinez. Saw him earlier, said hi to him. And we'll see him on our video today as well. In fact, what the heck, I might as well just say hi to him. Looks like a Hudson over there. Hey, you know, I'm just walking around looking at cars, and I thought, that looks like Johnny Martinez. <laughs> You're on PCTV, sir. PCTV. Wicked Lines. Best pinstripe you ever want to meet is right here. This Thank guy you. knows his Thank stuff. Thank you. Having a great day today. Did you sell your Christmas ornaments? No, I didn't. They're still here. I might have to take those off of you. Well, you know where to come get them. You're right. <laughs> All right. Well, good to see you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, bud. Off we go. All right. We just said hi to Johnny Martinez. I think I'm going to have to get myself some Christmas ornaments uh, on the way back. This is the Highline Motorsports. These guys are doing some nice builds. This Woody is really exceptional. Woody's are really, really difficult builds. They take decades to build. And I mean, that's actually when you're working on them. Me, I take decades to build because I never work on anything. Look at the interior here. Just gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And then um, next to it, 62 Chevy Impala. And of course, I can just live on Impalas all day long, especially when they got 409s in them. Look at this 409. Sorry about the shadows. Look at this 409 in here, guys. Dual carb setup. Ultra, ultra, ultra clean. Looks like he's running uh, maybe intros or, uh, I don't know if those are buttons or intros on it. This wheel caps are soon cleaned up. Hey, it looks like Robert. Hey, speaking of, you guys are sneaking around me there. I go, hey, that looks like Robert's truck. 
Look at this thing. Man, 409, four-speed car. Woo! Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on that. And look at this. This is one of the most gorgeous 3100s you're ever going to see on the road. This was Grandpa's truck, and it's gone through a few generations. It's owned by none other than Robert Maldonado, and he's got one of the baddest trucks you'll ever see. Look at the interior here. And then crap, all of a sudden you look over and there he is. Hey! Hey! Doing, Robert, buddy? what's up, brother man? How you doing, buddy? You're on PCTV. PCTV in the house. You know it, brother. <laughs> hey, nicest 3100 here. <laughs> you know Thanks. it. Grandpa's truck, right? Yep. Yep, love it. And the cold put my fence together. Oh, is it? Do you have? Job. Are you being man? Yeah, there's Trevor. You haven't seen Trevor in a while. Yeah. So you, you you got your signboard here? Is your signboard here? Yeah. Oh, let me go look at it. Guys, this truck's amazing. Robert's a great guy too. Oh, look at this wonderful trunk here. Sorry, I'm, I got ADD today. Walking around here, it's bad. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing good. Buddy. I was just saying hi to Robert. How was the uh, How was the uh, drag races? I heard rumor you were going to go home earlier. Abuelos. I love it. <laughs> Abuelos. Right? That is so cool. Pat Nickel of uh, Pat Nickel Photography put these put the board together. She's top notch. And as you can see, this is a award-winning McGuire's sponsored truck. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to say hi to Tom Ringland. All right. Just hanging out with Robert Maldonado and everybody. Just like Gary Gunslinger. Uh, Speaking of. There we go. Gary and Wiki are here. Look at this 53 Henry J. This is like got a Mike Lavalle style uh, flame job on it. Mike's okay. I haven't heard anything about him for a long time, but heck of a painter. But look at this. This is what they call the realistic flames. And this is really, really very well done. I love the pull through on the blue. Really, really nice on this Henry J. There's your script in the back. Look at that script. Just amazing. Pretty cool car, huh, Trevor? Look at that Pro Street setup. Get a look inside here. Look at the steering wheel, the way it's kept. Looks like a Riviera wheel. Now it's Henry J. But look at these seats. Wow. Nice shifter setup. All of his gauges are canned in toward him. Look at the louver work, the hood. And of course, we got to look at the prize inside. Look at that. And the way that he's routed his headers, look how he's done his headers here. These are those style now extraction where they're running them up and out like this. And you take them straight down out the fenders and out onto the ground. And it's all heat wrapped. And it's a heck of a way to go. So, all right, we got a bucket over here. A little tea bucket. I'm going to go right over your head here, Trevor. There we go. Cal rod. And a BDS blower. Looks like a 671 blower on there. Run a like dual elder box. Again, flame job. Small block. So, over here. Oh, look who's here. Dwayne, right? I think it's Dwayne, yeah. My buddy's here. Great. Love this ranchero. Actually, he works at uh, he works at Canberra. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful 59. Look at the split window right here. Too. Wow, look at this split window coop here. I think it's like a 36. All in black satin. It's a project. Really, really clean. Sun's starting to get a little hard here. It's starting to fall off pretty bad. But a nice, uh, nice look overall. We can see uh, my buddy Rancher over here. And the camera's sit down here. They've got their whole setup. And we're just about at the end here. Oh, okay, here we go. This is where everybody's lined up here. Look at this full custom Galaxy. Got an original chrome tube grill on it. You want to have a mic truck, that's old school low rider. And of course we've got Tony Colombini's Fairlane. And as you know, each and every one of my videos are dedicated to you, Broski. I love the fact that he keeps the stickers on there like everybody else. I will always have a Dano sticker on anything that I own. And again, the panel job on Tony's car is exceptional. If you've ever seen his roof, got a hell of a panel job on it. Overall nice. Didn't see Dave Costumbator here today. I was hoping to see him. And look at this little guy right here. Now this is old school. This is looking like the old just deuce cubes of the day. Old school hot rodder, ready to go. 
small block Chevy. Stock drag link ignition. Uh, blueprint, that's interesting. He's got his Mr. Horsepower stickers. Very traditional interior. He does have high backs in it though. A little hard to see in there. All right, guys. Hey, continuing here at Laverne on PCTV, and guess what? We're in Volkswagen heaven. We've hit the row. Been looking for it. My bug's still sitting on jack stands at the house. But look at this crew. Beautiful crew, crew, crew cab. Give uh, my buddy uh, with the blue one, that's oh, a 60. It's double cab. And uh, definitely give my buddy a run for the money in this blue one. Really, really sweet. Right next to us, looking like a 66. Bug running blades with just uh, overriders, white interior, real sweet. Got an earlier bug over here, he's running full overriders. Very sweet. Got cookie cutters like on my 60. Nicely dressed here. What's he got? IDFs on here? Uh, HPMXs? Yeah, looks like he's got 40 IDFs. Love the powder coat work underneath here. I need to do the I need to do that serpentine setup. It's really clean, really, really nice. I need to get rid of the old one. And we've got a European Carmen Ghia right here. A lot of people don't even know what these are. And these are the home models because you know they had different coach builders building cars, just like Ferrari and you know, like the Italian cars, you know, they they commission different cars, so it's a different coach builders. So like Heb would be one, you know, Ghia, Carmen, you know, the Carmen coach works. But this is a 65 and this is a Euro Ghia, but it does have, if you notice, it's got American rated glass. So it was actually, I think you're able to bring it here and actually import the vehicle here. But these are extremely unusual. And to have one is just uh, kind of a, a rare car known these days. Super rare. And this is a 651 square back. And this was the European square back, excuse me, Carmen Ghia. And this was the European version that was sold. All right, so right next to it, we got a beautiful slider. Here, look at this slider drag. Hello, this is where my aunt bought her car from Europa, North Hollywood. She bought it brand new in 65. She bought a square back, brand new. It was beige. I still have her St. Christopher statue. Hi. Hey, how's, how's it going? It? What's going Hi, on? Hi, how's hey. it? You get your little spot. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> what's going? Going? Hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing? Gary's got, a, Gary's got a cooling problem, so we had to go get water for his truck. <laughs> oh, we're good. I'm glad somebody's here to help. That's good. Yeah, we're just walking in the Volkswagen row, and then we're going to head out. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Good to see you guys. I already got, I took pictures of him and Robert and everybody, and yeah. Oh, I didn't see Robert. Yeah, Robert Monodato's here, and he's down uh, He's down over on the, oh, by the corner with the truck. Yep. Another great gear. 23 window here. Really beautiful. Look at the bars. This one's for you, Brian, right? Yeah, this interior is just amazing. I just got a notice on a auction that I want to get. So I think I'm going to stop and do this auction here real quick. 68 gear right here. Really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful car. Let's go, Brandon. Another nice bug. So there we go, there's Volkswagen Row. We have the Laverne Police Department over here. Tons of more VWs. Thank you for oh, doing you're these. Okay. Thank you, sir. That was a great show. Appreciated the hookup. All right, here's a nice double nickel. And we're gonna take a little break. Well, hold on a second here. Get a couple more gears. Oh, we got a notch here too. Dude, always need a nice notch. And these were only sold in Canada. This is another one. These were only sold in Canada. The ones that you see here were all brought down from the north. They only sold the square backs and the fast backs here in the United States. The notches were Canadian. You see, it's got the Euro marker lights on it. He's got the empty uh, GT style wheels on here. It's got a lot of correct stuff on here. And just overall, it's just a really beautiful car. And again, it is a notch. That look like that. I had a fastback I actually sold the pan off of that went under a notch because the pan was so rusty and the fastback actually had this steering wheel in it too and I sold the steering wheel to an uh, auction in Tokyo and it went for a lot of money. That wheel right there is worth about five grand if it's real. All right, so that's it for now. We'll pick up in a few more minutes, but we got a lot of great stuff here. Oh, we got to get the short bus.
Sorry, we gotta pick up the short bus. World famous. The shorty bus owned by Mr. Bill. And of course, he's got his little ride along here too as well. Well guys, Laverne has been a heck of a day here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and close it out today. This is uh, my final shots and uh, gonna grab some lunch with my son. Got to see some great friends today, uh, hang out. Just an overall great day. So again, coming to you from Laverne, California, this is PCTV, Patrick Comfort, my son Trevor, we're out. All right, and I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. God bless and please help to cure autism.